Hi guys, welcome to the next Let's Play of mine. Um, what's it? I don't. I really. I have a really bad habit of not actually checking the game's names before I start them. Uh, what's this called? Oh, Donald starring in something. Blah blah blah. Moi Mallard. I'm. If I pronounce that wrong, shoot me or something. <laughs> um, just, just a sec. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty much just Donald Duck in this title, it's showing you here. Now... Right, so, <laughs> this game, it just pretty much gets straight to the point. All you really ought to leave it on normal. Level select, but you know, the game doesn't save, so every time you restart it, your level select goes back to only... And you know, you got the passwords, alright, alright, enough, enough grabbling, blabbling. <laughs> it's a pretty quick game start, so let's just start it. And we'll get a bit of story before we start the gameplay. Shabula, I can't pronounce that. A powerful mojo idol has protected this island for centuries. Tonight the idol is missing. Last reported sighting. Mojo Mansion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, stage one, get ready. Loot. 50%. Wow, whoa, 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 okay, okay, so, as you can probably see, this does, in fact, star Donald Duck in some kind of Hawaiian shirt, I'm not sure what that's all about. <coughs> but, uh, ugh. Uh, uh, oh, I, I have no idea what I'm doing this, <laughs> this Let's Play, I, I have no idea what to say. Because oh, I was I was thinking about doing this, so I've like already in my head said like everything I was thinking of saying, so I don't know what I need to say. Oh, it's kind of hard to explain. Oh, ignore my stupidity, I guess. So, uh, it's actually been a while since I've played this game. Th yeah, this is actually the first Super Nintendo game I ever played. Um, when my dad came home with the Super Nintendo, this is the game he brought home with it, and... You know, being, me being young, I was not picky in the slightest back then, so... I can't kill those th things. So, yeah, I just, you know, played the game, and it's, it's all an alright game, but it's pretty short, and it's, it really has, like, no replayability value. Now, is there a way to, like, aim diagonally? Oh. How initiative. I was thinking like you probably hold like a trigger to aim diagonally like you do in Super Metroid, but you just hold up and then tilt to the angle and you'll aim that way without moving. That's pretty clever if you ask me. Alright, so the point of that was getting a bit of treasure. Now that like 50% of treasure required that was on like the level start screen, that was um... I'm not actually sure. I think I think that's the amount of level um, treasure required. So, so like through the whole world, not just the first level. And so, if you get fifty percent of treasure through the whole world, you get to go to like the bonus. Ow. The uh, the bonus like thing at the end of each world. Which I've ne I've never really been good at that, so I probably won't. Well, I'll get the. See, I think this is like. No, no, it's not. I was gonna say it's probably the end of the first level already. They're not really that long. That, that's a checkpoint, by the way. <laughs> this game really just jumps you straight into like the gameplay. There's really like no, there's no like apart from that like brief dialogue. You don't know what you're doing. You know what this is. You don't know what this place is. You don't know what this idol thing he's after does. Some might like it that way, some <laughs> might not. It's really a... Blank... I don't even know what I'm saying. So did I... I don't even know where I'm going anymore. I'm just trying to get all this dumb treasure. There's some down there, some up there, some... Right there. I think I missed some stuff like by climbing that rope, but I don't actually recall going outside where that duck statue is, so we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, so, oh, th those red drinks actually refill your health, they're not treasure. They do not count towards your total, I'm pretty sure at least. 
So yeah, it would appear I missed that thing. God, this is, oh, this, I'm sorry, this is awful commentary. I'm just, it's really late and I think I only... It's what I think. I, ju I just got up from like some kind of nap or something. I mean like screwed up sleeping pattern. Yeah, so the loot... Yeah, the loot found... I got 20%, so I think there's five levels, so that is actually... Nah, it can't be. It must have been 25%. Four levels, I guess. Uh, yeah, we still have enough time for another level, so this one starts like two directions. Not one direction. <laughs> that was bad. Now, here's something I didn't show. You can actually... Those things you collect, you actually switch ammo by pressing the um, triggers. So, yeah, these, this lightning one... Um... Oh, cool. I thought the water was instant kill. No. And I think I just missed a treasure. Can I go back? No. So, yeah, as you saw, the lightning one shoots three. The fire one does homing on stuff. And if you shoot both at the same time... I didn't really see what was so good about that. But your regular ammo charges up over time, so you're never going to run out. Now, I think what's going on here is we step on these and it moves the thing over. Yeah, there we go. And we're gonna... Well, we could just, like, do it on this one. Oh, but he can shoot that way too. Oh, oh well, that should be enough. Or commentary. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> I would name this episode, like, Awful Commentary, but it's the first episode, and as I've said in, like, previous Let's Plays I've done, so I missed that stuff up there, actually. It's, there's a lot of stuff like that where you need to, like, kind of know where the treasure is to be able to get it. What does this do? Not sure. Oh, it moves that thing. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't falling for that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so as I previously stated, I hate first episode because like there's always this I don't know how would you how would you describe that? There's always this feel to like have to like do really well because it's the first episode and it's most likely the first, you know, if someone's interested in like the game, it's probably gonna be the first thing they'll listen of my words. Like I I don't know if anyone does like just goes to random episodes and starts watching from there, but if you do that, that's okay, I guess. It's, I wouldn't expect people to do that. So yeah, first episodes, people are probably going to watch first episodes, and yeah, that's why I don't like recording them, because I have, like, I feel I have to, like, live up to some kind of expectation or something. But, you know, oh, well, here am I being stupid? You get a nice counter for the percentage in the bottom left corner of how much treasure you got in this certain level. Ugh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you have like a max health or something. So it's like two, it's like at 240. I think I think like the more stuff you collect per the level, the more health you'll have or something. I'm really not sure how that works. Uh, you know what? We have time for another level. This one's quite short. Now, uh, first introduction of these lamp guys. Well, I don't even know what I'm doing, alright, and we got this stupid light, which doesn't really light much. Oh, there's another lamp. Ah, god, I'm not doing really good. Ugh. This, yeah, this game, it's got some odd controls, and the, the problem with odd controls is like, you know, like Angry Video Game Nerd says, they're like the hardest to explain. Like, I give it my best, but it's sort, it's sort of like... Like, the easiest way to show it would be just, like, to do, like, this. Say I'm doing, like, this, and I can't, I can't shoot, like, if you do it. Like, if you're doing this, you can't, like... So, say you want to, like, move back a bit, you can't unless you jump. So, you, you only have, like, that man maneuverability in the air. Otherwise, you don't really have much... Well, you know, in platformers... It's really, like, important to have, you know, be able to move f as fast as you can. And what's hitting me? Like, really? Yeah, 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 you shoot that clock's face and these things fall down. And I don't- are these, like, things never- never, never ending spawning or something? Because it's just getting annoying. Mm, I'm, I'm sure if I had, like, the game manual, it would explain the story a bit better than that monologue. No, well, what, what can we deduce? Well, 
He's on an island, and he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt, so perhaps we can guess he was on vacation of some kind, and then some bad stuff went down, so he decided to help. And I, I think that's a pretty accurate guess of what's going on here. So the thing was stolen, and we need to go get it. How cliche, in a way, but perfect for a simple platformer like this that delivers in most aspects, apart from, as I said before, replayability. And, you know, you can beat the game easily in like a couple of hours, perhaps, and you're not, you're not going to play it again for like a long time after that. But then again, when I was a kid, what, seriously, what is hitting me? Perhaps some kind of mini spider? I'm not sure. <laughs> if you can see that, you probably think I'm an idiot, but, like, I can't see anything, so... Well, I saw that hat board hit me that time. So we get all the treasure? Oh, no, not yet. We've still got a bit. Ah, uh, so what was I? I was saying something. Right, so, yeah, it's a good game, but... Yeah, we got 100% treasure of this level. But replayability levels is real low. Um... You know, I would normally say let's call it an episode here, but this is the last level, then the boss, so let's just finish the first world, huh? This part, um, the time. Oh, yeah. I'm, I was a bit worried about, like, you know, I've got to record this episode quick because it's kind of late, and I'm not, like, living by myself or anything, so, you know, I shouldn't be, like, loud. You know, like, hey, guys, I'm recording, etc., blah, blah, blah. Hmm. <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs> so it appears the only way to go is in here. Now, uh, how many worlds are there? Hmm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to say like, because I can probably count them on my finger, but I might miss one. You got that world, then well, this isn't going to make any sense. I'm just saying that world, that world. I don't, I don't want to really give out any spoilers. So that's why I'm being vague about that that world stuff. <laughs> So where's... do I want to go down there, or do I want to... Well, I guess I've got to go down here now. Oh, uh, I'm not sure... did I want to... oh, I guess I did. But there appears to be... oh, wait, no. So you got to... see, you got to jump past that door, otherwise you'll automatically go in it. Which you don't want, I would assume. Now we can, so where does this lead us then? Alright, yeah, something tells me I did want to go in that other door first, so I guess we're not missing some treasure now, not that that is really irrelevant. Uh, so, I'm not, I don't, I'm, I really haven't been, like, much of a Disney TV show fan, but, like, does Donald Duck have, like, a gun in, like, any TV show or anything, or movie, or what? Because this is kind of out of place if he doesn't, uh, there again, like, you know, alternate universe stuff, you know, <laughs> what has to be consistent when it comes to cartoons, nothing, that's what, and it's, un uh, so he's like another one, if you don't jump like over there and fall off like I did like an idiot, you won't be able to get this stuff, or go in there, which I don't, I th all I'm really missing is like some treasure, which, you know, as long as you get 50% of all treasure, you get the bonus, and the treasure doesn't do anything else, so you don't have to get everything. Because that won't make a difference, you just need to get like the 50% or it goes up per world, I think. Yeah, so we actually successfully did that one that time. Yeah, so you fall down here if you didn't. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Some of Donald's sprites are pretty stupid. Oh, but never mind me. I should. I guess I should. I don't. I don't. I don't want this episode going on for like 20 minutes or something. So I guess I should kind of maybe hurry it up a bit, sort of. Not really. I don't know. I do, I do want to get the first world out of the way. So I I haven't really used much of these bullets. These um other ones. But and the reason for that is there's really no much point. Like apart from maybe these homing ones or these three ways. Oh. That didn't even kill that guy, so... Yeah, it's, it's they're sort of good, but they're sort of, like, unnecessary, because... Let's just say that the gun mechanics won't be 
Ah, yeah, see, I missed that treasure down there. The gun mechanics won't be the only mechanics this game offers. In the second world, we'll get, we'll get something rather nifty, but not nifty at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure there's like a secret path you can go off somewhere. Uh, might be, might not be. Oh, I, I think it might be up the top, actually. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're supposed to go this way or not? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to, like, take the middle organ and get all the way to, like, shot up really high. But... Oh, I'm not sure about that. Because, like, like I said before, it's been a while since I've played this game. So, well... When I think about it, last time I played this game was when I brought the Super Nintendo downstairs. And that would have been maybe a good... Ooh, that was around the time I got my 64. So, that would have been around... Oof. I'm not sure how long that would have been around, I guess. Alright, so... We've got this, like, you know, super intimidating boss that, you know, you defeat by shooting. Because he's super intimidating. Uh, if I didn't mention that, because he's, he's, like, super... Like, look at that. That was... Well, he's not done yet. Whoa, what's he doing now? He's super intimidating. Like, holy jeez. Jesus. Better fight. <laughs> it's such an odd boss. Like, now it's... You kill its legs, and now it's just, like, jumping on me. And that's... It dead. Take our life. That's all those Donald Duck heads are, by the way. But I figured that'd be self-explanatory, because, like, in most of these old games, what's a life? It's usually a head or something like that. So, yeah, our loot is well above... 50% as you can see and it wouldn't matter if it's 100% or 90% or 60% as long as it's above 50 we get access to this bonus level which I think every time you go to one of them it looks this exact same animation I, I wouldn't have a chance of being pronouncing any of the words in this game so I yeah like I said I don't know, I don't know what these guys do, so I'm not sure what the point of collecting them are. But as I said, yeah, I've never really been good at these bonuses. The point, the objective is, you gotta get up to these, um, moon things. <laughs> you'll, you'll see, you'll know what I mean when you see them. There's moons and suns, and, oh, I missed the sun there. And you gotta get to all six. There's six still left in this time loop. And that does. So that's one. You gotta get all the rockets. And that that is. It's kind of. It's really chance because like you know you've got no way of telling. So I'm at the top. So I've obviously missed quite a few on the way up. You've got absolutely no chance of knowing where any of these things are. Well, you know, unless you like looked up a walkthrough or something. Damn, I missed that one. Oh, I don't need to say... Oh, that... that's like saying, oh, I just jumped then. Yep, yep, I'm definitely jumping. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, we only need... Well, again, as you can see... That's all this bonus is, isn't it? Oh, point out the damn obvious. Yeah, guess what? I, we only have 40 seconds left. <laughs> oh, and, yeah, like I said, I wouldn't have a clue where to start looking for the last one. And now we're like at the bottom, there's none at the bottom, I would think. I, I think what you get getting more is a continue, but I'm not sure. But I, with like 19 seconds left, I wouldn't like hold my breath. Uh, uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. I'm bad at counting. And, you know, we don't even get told where the other one was or anything, so... Now that's what you get. You get a password, which... I won't need because I'm not going to get game over. Let's hope. <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah. Hopefully this didn't go for 20 minutes, because my timer is 23 minutes, but I did fuck around at the start for a bit. Giant metal spider creeping out. This 
thing could be deeper than anyone guessed. Might be time for a change of costume. So, yeah, you know, if that right there isn't like a giveaway as to what's going on, the ninja training ground, if that's not a giveaway to what's going on, then. So, you only 55 for this world. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to bother ending that sentence. <laughs> oh. Oh, never mind. Oh, what, what I was just thinking was, I'm going to turn the thing off. So, I'll have to, like, enter, go online and get, like, the password to start from World 2 again. Well, that's, like, not the end of the world, but then again, I'm gonna run out of lies. I have no idea what I'm, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So, uh, that'll be all for this episode. Uh, what's that thing I was talking about that the game made painfully obvious? Find out next time. See you then.